Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about five my most wanted crossovers in Raid. Five of my most wanted crossovers in Raid. We talk about this stuff a lot in the stream ever since Summoner's War launched their Street Fighter crossover. And that actually got me back into playing Summoner's War. I went back to check that out and just kind of got hooked on the game again. So now it's part of my regular rotation. And Jubagel put out a video recently of other crossovers he would like to see in Summoner's War. And it just kind of I was like, well, why don't, why don't I make this and talk about it with my YouTube crowd? I know uh, we talk about it a good bit in Twitch, but I know there's a lot of people in the YouTube crowd that don't make their way over to Twitch. So uh, I thought it might be fun. So let me know in the comments some ideas of crossovers you would love to see in Raid, uh, because I'm definitely not going to touch on everyone I've thought of or everyone that, I've, that we've talked about in the stream. I'm just going to give you my five, my personal favorites, and, uh, and then I definitely want to hear some ideas that you guys guys have because i'm sure you have some, some things i have not considered uh but it seems like it could be a pretty fun idea so starting at number five we've got of course dc or marvel dc and or marvel i know they're very different entities but i i think that would be killer man having you know batman and flash and, and all these guys from dc or right or marvel you know I'm, I'm, I'm a big comic book fan i love the superhero movies and you know you've seen my logo it's it's very clearly Deadpool themed, so um, I would be super stoked. I feel like the art style lines up perfectly. I feel like they would look amazing in this game. There's a lot to be done with their animations. Uh, you could give them, I think for every category I'm about to list, I think you could give them their own faction and uh, just fill them up, fill them up with, with the respective characters. But I think DC Marvel, uh, either one would be so cool, dude. And it's really not out of the realm of possibility because these, these companies do a lot of collabing with other games. You know, there were DC characters in a, in a Mortal Kombat game a while back, then they made their own game. They both have mobile games. Marvel's doing a lot of stuff with Fortnite. You've seen them do things with other games. DC's done other stuff with other mobile games too. It's definitely a territory that they, you know, are in. So it wouldn't be that ridiculous to think of them maybe doing something like that. And it, it would be huge. I think it would be huge for Raid. But, um... Uh, I feel like that's a pretty good number five spy. We get we get a little bit more specific as we go down, but uh, I would I would be stoked to see Deadpool and Raid. Man, I'd be I'd be all about that. They'd have they'd get they get all my money if they did that. No no questions asked. And at number four, uh, it's kind of a broad topic or, or selection, but scary movie villains. You know, Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, all those guys. I feel like there are a lot of possibilities here and again just another example of characters that would look incredible in this game man i, I feel like the, I, I would love to see those characters reimagined in raid and so many possibilities very they could be very fear and true fear heavy freddy krueger could do more damage to targets that were asleep you know what i mean maybe maybe you make the sleep debuff a little bit more fun to play around Jason can have AOE slow and do more targets, <laughs> uh, more damage to targets that are under slow debuffs. Uh, just stuff like that. I feel like there's a lot of a lot of things that you can do with the debuffs that are already in the game, and even make some of them maybe maybe more viable. Uh, the, the Freddy Krueger doing more target, more damage to targets under slow debuff, I think, is a really cool idea. Um, a lot of that stuff to be done. And if you don't want to give them their own faction, throw Chucky in the Dwarves faction. You know what I mean? <laughs> there's things to be done here, but. And again, on one hand, I know it's very broad, right? These are not all from one company, but I do know that I've seen a lot of these kinds of collabs before. I know Michael Myers was in Dead by Daylight. I feel like I've seen Freddy and Jason around, a Terminator as well. I don't think it's it's unimaginable that a game could, could get something like that going with a broad range of these characters. And there's so many to choose from, you know, like, like the others, you could e very easily fill up a faction here and and do some very interesting things with them and just seeing them in the game i mean who wouldn't be stoked about that you know what i mean it's broad enough that there's going to be something if they do it well enough you know if they pick a, a good a good selection of characters to bring in you're virtually there's no one going to be left out no one's not going to be excited about that to some degree right so i think there's a lot of promise there or a lot of potential there i would really like to see it happen um, so yeah, that, that's, that's <laughs> number four. Coming in at number three, and this one you kinda gotta, you, you kinda gotta hear me out on this one, cause this one's gonna sound, this one's gonna be 
it, it's kind of an obvious one, but it's also like, eh, how well would it work? Dragon Ball Z. Now I know the art style is pretty different, but I feel like that could, I feel like they could go different ways with it and it, it'd still be cool. On one hand, they could kind of re-visualize the art to fit into Raid and then give them like this darker, more realistic feel to them, which would be amazing. Or just put them in the game <laughs> looking like Dragon Ball Z characters, same art style as Dragon Ball Z. Just put them in the game and let them stand out. Let them look that much different. But um, I, I mean, obviously, I think a lot of people are, are big Dragon Ball Z fans. And I think there's a lot to be done. There's obviously no shortage of characters to choose from that you can do things with. And then you can have just there's a lot of room to work with animations you know goku and vegeta and the saiyans can have passives where maybe after a certain their health gets to a certain point or the fight goes on a certain amount of time a certain amount of turns and they, they turn super saiyan in the middle of the fight or something and get some sort of boost to their stats or unlock an ability um you know th there could even be some crazy stuff down the line with with you know fusions i don't know <laughs> there's a a lot of potential to work with there. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of opportunities to be creative with the way you implement uh, the the characters and the systems that are in place in Dragon Ball Z and Raid. I feel like it opens up a lot and gives you a lot of opportunities to play around with. And again, I think you could go to either way with the art style. Put them in exactly like they look as Dragon Ball Z characters, or adapt the art style, make it a little darker, make it make them a little more realistic looking, and uh, and let them kind of blend in. With what's going on i think either way would be killer i would be down for for either i wouldn't care so much about that as much as just seeing them in the game and all the all the different possibilities with their skills animations would be out of this world dude can you imagine kamehameha from goku in raid or something man that would be absolutely wild instant transmission back and forth for certain skill for animations and like one, he could instant transmission behind the enemy and attack and come back. Like, you know what I mean? Just lots, lots of possibilities there. Lots of opportunities to be creative. And again, just, I mean, can you, can you imagine, can you imagine the money they would make off of that? That would just be absolutely disgusting. Uh, but I would, I would buy every single thing they put out if they did that without even thinking about it. <laughs> I would be so into that, man. Uh, so the last two spots, I decided that the number two spot would be what I would, what my personal most wanted is. And then I, I left the number one spot for what I would also really like to see, but what I think would just be the best, what I think is the best option for a crossover for Raid. So number two on this list, but my number one personal most wanted, uh, I'll just put my credit card on file and you just automatically charge me for whatever you put in the game uh, would be a specifically a Final Fantasy 7 crossover. I'd be down for Final Fantasy as a whole so that, and they could do from from you know all the different games to kind of reach a, a broader crowd. But personally, Final Fantasy 7 that's game over. Like that's it. Like I said, put my credit card on file. Don't even bother telling me what's in the packs. Just charge me for whatever comes out that's related. Um, again, art style lends itself perfectly to the way that Raid looks. Uh, no shortage of characters. There are, you know, man, this one, <laughs> it almost makes me sad because I know it'll never happen. But I, just the thought of it gets me so excited. Sephiroth and Cloud and Tifa. Um, God, dude. <laughs> that would be so ridiculous, man. God, it's hard not to get excited about it, and I know it's never going to happen, but I mean, they, they would just fit in so well here, man. Give them their own faction. Fill up. You could put a chocobo in the game as one <laughs> as a new champ, you know what I mean? Like, mm, lots, lots to be done there. Just take a minute to picture, just take a minute to picture that, that your squad is Cloud, Tifa, Sephiroth and Vincent Valentine. Vincent Valentine and Raid. Can, like, tell me he doesn't just look like he belongs in the game already. You you incorporate their limit breaks into their skill sets. Vincent Valentine can, you know, 
have a have a skill that unlocks kind of like a baron or something you know where there's a chance to unlock and he gets to transform i don't know man there's a lot to be done there there's a lot of characters you could take a lot of the villains and, and work them in you could have new like dungeon areas you know what i mean you, there, there's room for whole new content here where the bosses are are weapons and you know what i mean like there, there's there's so much to be done there and it gets me so excited thinking about it and it's never gonna happen maybe maybe if we y'all y'all everybody spam this video at Plarium and maybe they'll make it happen uh that one gets me super stoked man I, I i'm really excited at even just the thought of that one so much to be done there everything lines up perfectly and again i think it would be a hit it, they could do all final fantasy 7 because i know 7 is not everyone's favorite uh, and there is a lot of great stuff in the other games too, but it, all, it would just need to be seven for me, and I would be I would be one hundred percent all in. Uh, and then coming in at number one again, this is this is I would say this. I don't know where this would rank on my personal list. It's definitely top three, but I do think it lines up. It's probably the easiest to do, lines up the best, and would just transition in perfectly. Number one, I think, is Mortal Kombat. I think. Um, just taking an example of how the street fighter how successful the street fighter collab was in summoner's war i know a lot of players that came back to the game i know a lot of new players that started because of that they advertised it pretty heavily it's very it's fun it's interesting it's nostalgic you know there's a lot of things go in it that go in its favor and uh mortal kombat i think it kind of follows a similar blueprint and Again, it, you, you could pull characters out of Mortal Kombat and just put them in Raid. There's there, no changes even need to be made. They, they line up that well with the way that the art style is in this game. You can literally just pull them out and put them in into Raid. And again, there's there's just there's so much to be done with, with animations. You can give them their own faction. You can implement new dungeons in the way I was talking about with Final Fantasy VII. Um, an alternate version of Doom Tower when Doom Tower comes out because you know your Mortal Kombat you used to climb that tower through that's how you that's how you did single player mode was climb that tower do something like that that's exclusive to Mortal Kombat let you unlock more stuff uh, and, and again man it, it would just be really really cool I think it would look phenomenal a lot a lot to be done with scale animations Sub-Zero there's already a freeze debuff in the game he shoots his ice blast it freezes it all it, it just is killer man Scorpion it would be dope. I think it would be really dope. And I think it's probably got the most potential to just... Summoner's War has already shown that this blueprint would work, right? It's it's another fighting game. It's the other fighting game. You know, when you were a kid, Street Fighter Mortal Kombat were the fighting game. Some of you are probably mad. I'm leaving out Killer Instinct, but it, it was not one of the one of the fighting games. You know what I mean? Um, and I think it would... I think it would work. I think it would be very easy to do. I think it would be killer. I think people would be super into it. Gives, I think any crossover they did would, would create a level of excitement that I feel like up until very recently, Raid's been lacking. You know what I mean? It, things have been very stagnant for a while and they're they're kind of starting to get some things rolling, but I feel like something like this, just out of nowhere, this, this big crossover event to get everybody excited, give everybody something to do. I think it could be good for everybody. I think it would be good for the player base, get us excited about the game again, something to work toward. Uh, it would be great for Plarium because they'd make a lot of money and everybody would be happy for a little bit. And <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I think I think there's a lot of good to be done. So I don't know if they'll ever do anything like this. I don't know if there's anything in the works or uh, if it's even on anyone's mind there, if it's something they would ever be willing to do, but it's fun to think about. And those are five of my ideas that I, that I would really like to see happen. So like I said, let me know in the comments what some ideas you have for some crossovers would be for raid I'm, I'm really interested to know what you guys think and potentially get introduced to some new stuff i've heard some ideas for things that i've never even heard of that after i go check out i'm like that would be pretty dope so um yeah excited to know what you guys think i appreciate you watching i hope you got a kick out of this i know it's 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 a little bit different just kind of a fun goofy discussion video so hopefully you you enjoyed this um other than that that's it i appreciate it i'll catch you guys tomorrow